Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the scanner error message. Operation could not be completed. Error code 0x000, 00015. The device is not ready. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I would ensure is that your scanner is turned on and that it's powered up. If you're using a physical connection, like a cord connecting your printer to your computer, make sure that it is fit in properly and snugly. If it's not properly connected, it might not be working. If you're using a Wi-Fi connection, make sure your scanner is connected to your Wi-Fi settings and it's connected to your router, basically. So if you already have ensured that and you're still having a problem, we're going to open up the search menu and search for services. Best result should come back with services. Open that up. If you want to go down and locate the remote procedure call service, and go ahead and double click on that. Startup type should be set to automatic, and if it's not running, you want to start it and then select applying, okay? You want to do this for a few other services too. There's going to be an RPC endpoint manager service. You want to go down to the Windows Image Acquisition Service and double click on it. Startup type, set that to automatic and start the service and apply and OK. You want to go up now to Shell Hardware Detection and double click on it. Again, startup type automatic, make sure it's running and then apply and OK. And now go all the way up close to the top, DCOM Server. Process Launcher. And double click on it. Again, start up type automatic. Make sure that's running. Apply and OK. And then once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close out of here. If there are any new drivers available for the software that's related to your scanner, you may want to go on to the manufacturer's website, see if there are any new drivers available for download. And that's pretty much about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.